फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो प्लस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ऑफ नॉर्मल सेवन Combustion technology is widely adopted in both ground and air transportation including rockets in thermal power production and in prevention and suppression of fire hazards. It is in view of these wide applications that the National Center for Combustion Research and Development or NCCRD has been established at IIT Madras and IISC with the support of the Science and Engineering Research Board Government of India. The NCCRD at IIT Madras is the largest of its kind in the world in terms of interdisciplinary diversity of its faculty drawing from across six departments. With its five-story main building and a few other smaller buildings, the propellant combustion building, the fire test enclosure and a compressor room, it also has a large floor space of around 35,500 square feet for combustion research the foremost in an academic setting anywhere globally. The NCCRD boasts of state-of-the-art equipment such as the evolved gas analysis system comprising the hyphenated technology of thermogravimetric analyzer with infrared spectrometer and gas chromatography with mass spectrometer high pressure TGA, cone calorimeter for flammability testing, phase Doppler interferometer for detailed spray diagnostics, and four camera high speed tomographic particle image velocimetry and planar laser induced fluorescence. A lot of progress has already been made and uh, many research topics have been investigated into low emission burners, then characterization of fuels, stability control in uh, gas turbines by optimizing the shapes of swirlers. In automotive combustion, optical engines have been developed in collaboration with the TVS, direct injection in uh, automotive engines to reduce the emissions. Our uh, faculty are working on municipal solid waste incineration in collaboration with the BHEL. Extensive test facilities include high-pressure spray rigs for continuous and pulsed sprays and combustion, automotive test cells and optical engine, supersonic combustion tunnel, 100 kilowatt thermal level gasifiers, open calorimetry for fire testing, and microgravity drop tower. For automotive research, four engine test cells are available for complete testing of SI and CI engines and a GDI research engine. Basically, this is uh, one of the state-of-the-art facilities uh, comparable to what you have seen in the industry, automotive industry in India. Here you have four test cells and these four test cells can all be equipped with uh, any kind of engine. And we can take even very big engines and we can even uh, modify these test cells to take even an automobile. We can even have a chassis dynamometer because these test cells are fairly large. And you have all the infrastructure required for the coolant flow, the exhaust flow, the ventilation, the soundproofing, whatever uh, you require is in place. Chennai being a major hub of the automotive industry, a close interaction naturally exists with several companies in the two three and four-wheeler segments, including buses and trucks. The ongoing engine research in NCCRD is in line with the global trends and also Mahindra's interest in pushing the limits of gasoline direct engines performance so that we can use it to power our future light-duty vehicles. The transient test facility, emission measurement systems and the expertise in engine control that has been built in NCCRD can be leveraged for, by the Indian automotive industry to venture into areas such as control logics development, for our future hybrid vehicles, specifically for Indian driving conditions. A comprehensive fuel characterization lab is productive in cataloging a database of pyrolysis behavior of various solid and liquid fuels with catalysts aimed towards synthesis of alternative fuels and curbing emissions. This lab actually houses a variety of uh, uh, analytical instruments uh, that can be used to uh, uh, characterize and uh, perform uh, detailed studies on a variety of uh, 
solid feedstocks including uh, coal, biomass, uh, municipal solid waste and complicated feedstocks like uh, plastics and so on. The main objective is not only to uh, characterize these materials as such but uh, we would also like to uh, understand the thermal decomposition and also the uh, thermal behavior of these materials when subjected to a variety of operating conditions. The need for clean coal technologies such as gasification for power as well as methanol production has led to the establishment of relatively large-scale bubbling and circulating fluidized bed gasifiers at the 100 kilowatt thermal level which serve for industrial collaboration with major players such as BHEL, Thermax, etc. Based on our fluid bed concept, we are taking it to a gasification and that's where association of NGCD and IIT Madras has given us a tremendous strength. Uh, here we are working on a 1 megawatt uh, high pressure coal gasifier which is uh, now running very smoothly thanks to the work and the input that we got from IIT Madras and NCCD. So as India is moving forward to the clean coal technologies, our COP21 commitments as well as making ourselves uh, self-reliant in the field of oil and gas via coal, these technologies will go a long way and I'm sure our collaboration with NCCD and IIT Madras will grow in the years to come. Thank you. Spray atomization is an area of intense research with particular focus on high spatio-temporal diagnostics of injected geometries used practically in engine. Spray diagnostics is one of the very important things that we are doing at NGCRD. We are particularly looking at uh, very practical applications. So this is one of those uh, setups which is a high pressure spray rig for continuous sprays and this is actually meant for uh, uh, doing uh, aerospace sprays similar to uh, what happens in gas turbines, uh, gas turbine combustors. As a matter of fact, we have been testing a gas turbine combustor that goes into an actual aviation engine uh, of a uh, commercial aircraft uh, at uh, fairly elevated pressures over here. And we have been looking at uh, sprays that are actually uh, obtained by wall filming of uh, spray impinging against a wall uh, and, and going through a secondary atomization process in a fairly uh, incredibly uh, high spatio-temporal resolution of a few millimeters by few millimeters uh, dimensions and about uh, tens of kilohertz uh, worth of uh, framing rates uh, doing uh, volume elimination and doing la laser induced fluorescence of uh, a volume eliminated region. Uh, this kind of uh, behavior is used now to actually deduce wo wall filming at around uh, a few microns kind of resolutions at very very high uh, repetition rates. Uh, and these, we, we do this in uh, the high pressure environment and we find that the sprays are actually extremely differently behaved when compared to an atmospheric uh, pressure spray. So we are, this is actually bringing us some completely new knowledge that could be used in modeling and uh, simulation behavior that can be used for uh, designing uh, better and better uh, injectors for uh, more compact combustors in future aircraft engines. Our engagement with industry has led to co-development and research of small-scale practical combustors and micro-gas turbines. G Aviation has been partnering with NCCRD very successfully. NCCRD brings with it state-of-art equipment, experimental facilities and a talent pool of faculty, researchers and technicians. We bring in the expertise of product development. Working together, we have been able to push the boundaries of technology in the domain of low emission combustors. The microgravity drop tower of NCCRD is the fifth largest in the world, 38 meters tall and with an estimated 2.5 seconds of residence time. It has a capsule in capsule system along with release and catcher systems, onboard high speed camera and instrumentation. Uh, this is a unique facility, the only facility in India and uh, there are like seven such facilities with uh, drop duration of around two seconds, more than two seconds around the world, uh, three in United States, uh, one in Germany, one in Japan, one in China and our tower stands like number fifth in terms of uh, duration of drop. Uh, our idea was not to aim for number one in terms of drop duration but to have a facility which will enable sustainable uh, research uh, in an academic environment. Fire research is an area gaining expertise at NCCRD. The focus is on characterization of flame retardant polymers, fire sprinkler and water mist suppression systems. 
A strong combination of diagnostics and modeling go hand in hand in these research efforts. Dear colleagues of IIT Madras and National Center for Compulsory Research and Development, on behalf of iPhone Global, I would like to congratulate all of you for the research building inauguration. This is certainly a very exciting moment for the professors, staff, and students at NCCRD. And your colleagues from FM Global send our best wishes. Several innovations are being developed, such as the Swirl Mesh Lean Direct Injection for gas turbine combustors, micro sprays, rotary MSW combustor, X2 liquid technologies by catalytic fast and microwave pyrolysis and hydrothermal liquefaction, low-cost optical IC engine, inline sensors for non-standard gaseous fuel composition, steam quality, coal composition, precursor detection for flame stabilization and combustion instability, and spray tomography. These are leading to patents which are translating into industrial applications and spawning startup companies. NCCRD's unique uh, feature is doing things at scales that are more relevant to industry. So we actually are working in an area which is just about what, about what we would do in a typical lab in an academic institution to what would actually be implemented in the uh, industry. So we actually do a bridging between lab to industry scale. Uh, of uh, testing as well as things like prototype development and so on at a scale that is affordable here but also industry relevant. The National Center for Combustion Research and Development is a premier research center set up for the country at IIT Madras and Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. Here at IIT Madras it brings together faculty from more than six departments uh, numbering more than 30 in diverse disciplines to address the interdisciplinary area of combustion as applied in three very different verticals. As we all know, energy, carbon dioxide emission and uh, emission of uh, pollutant gases, all of these have become very important because of the global warming, climate change and other uh, such impact that combustion has. This center will play a pivotal role in making sure that India has access to the latest technologies in all the areas that I mentioned. We are very excited about having this center on IIT Madras because it gives us an opportunity for people from multiple disciplines, students from various departments pursuing different lines of study to work together to solve the challenges that face the nation. I'm Kelsis Chaudhry from the University of California at San Diego. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate you on the establishment the National Center for Combustion Research at IIT Chennai. The faculty and students at Chennai have been the forefront of combustion research and with the establishment of the NCCRD at IIT Chennai. Scientists all over India will have the best facilities in the world to continue to make pioneering advancements in the, in the area of combustion science and technology. Train graduate students and contributes in a significant way to um, the prosperity of the nation and energy security. Thank you. Foreman Williams from the University of California, San Diego. I'm happy to make a few comments at this celebration. I visited IIT Madras a few years ago. It gave a lecture series. Uh, at that time, I discovered that the uh, faculty and students there are really first class that's the first thing that's needed to, in a first-class institution. Uh, I also saw the construction under progress and I'm really pleased to see that that construction is now complete uh, and I expect to see really world-class leading advances in combustion from IIT Madras because of these notable accomplishments.